Hi, my name is Blair Mothersbaugh, and I'm a founding member of Duende, U of SC's resident flute quartet. Last fall, in the midst of perhaps the most tumultuous election period in our country's history, we needed music more than ever to express, to relieve, and to unite in a time of deep, deep division. Alarm Will Sound, a contemporary music collective, issued a challenge to their followers to join their Get Out the Vote initiative by recording a version of El Pueblo Unido Jamás Será Vencido. This song, which translates to The People United Will Never Be Defeated, originated in Chile in the 1970s in response to a political coup that ousted the popularly elected president. In the intervening decades, the song has become a true global anthem for those exercising their rights. We decided to take up the challenge because of the importance of an election year because of the importance of making your voice heard and encouraging others to do the same. We hope you enjoy and that you take up our challenge to amplify the voices around you in your own way. The people united will never be defeated. My name is Mike Harley, and I direct the Southern Exposure New Music Series at the University of South Carolina. I'm pleased to introduce this next video clip, which is taken from a concert this past November 1st on the Southern Exposure Series that, uh, under the umbrella of the School of Music's Bridging Our Distances initiative, sought to amplify the voice of a historical figure that is, was long forgotten this is that of Richard Greener, the university's first African-American professor. Um, back in 2018, as part of the celebrations surrounding the unveiling of the Greener statue that now stands outside of Cooper Library, we commissioned two works by composers Jeff Scott and Valerie Coleman of the Grammy-nominated Imani Wins, who have been friends of the School of Music since their first visit to play on the Southern Exposure Series in, in 2015. And these pieces uh, are about Greener specifically and set texts or texts that relate to his, his writings. Um, the clip you're going to hear is from Jeff Scott's A Pioneer's Opus. 
and it features narration by uh, the School of Music's own alum, Isaiah Hogue, um, who is a wonderfully dramatic reader. Um, please enjoy uh, the video from A Pioneer's Opus by Jeff Scott. I say it again, Jewish men were released from slavery while in America we disregard the dark man, the dark man like me. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Bridging Your Week. I wanted to share some unfortunate news that Isaiah Hogue, the very talented young narrator that you heard in the last video uh, in the performance of Jeff Scott's Pioneer's Opus, was in a terrible car accident about two weeks ago. Um, he's doing okay, but he sustained some major injuries, uh, broken back in four places. And um, the U of SC community is sending our heartfelt wishes uh, for a speedy recovery to him. Unfortunately, like so many young artists um, in America, Isaiah did not have health insurance, and so his family has created a GoFundMe campaign to raise money for his hospital bills and his uh, future recovery um, and rehabilitation. So if you feel that you can make a donation to help Isaiah and his family, you can find the link below. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.